Hey guys, uh, finally putting together that video I said I would do uh, to show you some of the tricks I've been using with Hoya lately. Um, now, I'll put a link into the description to Aaron Laprete's video where he goes into a much more broad overview of the entire method for both 4x4 and 5x5. Uh, really, all I'm going to be talking about is putting together the, uh, the cross edges uh, when one of the pieces that you're working with is already solved and the other one is in an F2L slot either in the front or in the back. Um, now, just sort of a, a quick overview, uh, there are, are two basic types of inserts that you would do um, when solving the piece when it's in the U-layer already. Uh, the first one is with the white sticker facing up. Uh, this is the longer insert, um, and this one is R, U2, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime. So that's seven moves. It can also be uh, eight moves. So for this, the piece is in the layer that you would use to perform the algorithm, so you have to move it out of the way, and then do it. Whoa. Careful there. Um, and now the other one is this one, with the white sticker facing out. Whether out there, or there, or there, or there, or there, it's facing outwards. Um, and this is the, the shorter, easier insert. It's just a quick ba 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 Pretty easy. Um, it can be three or four moves. If it's in the layer, you move it out of the way, and then insert. Um, so essentially what I've been trying to do is influence it so that if the other edge piece is in an F2L slot, to make it so that I don't ever have to do the longer insert, which is actually not that hard. Um, the, the intuitive way to, to get the piece into a solvable position is, is generally just to do to quickly get it out of there. But you don't always have to do that. It's not always the right thing to do. Um, so there are two kind of ways that I categorize these, that if the other piece, if the unsolved piece is in the uh, front F2L slot, or if it's in the back F2L slot, I don't really worry if it's on the left or the right. If it's on the left, you would just do the mirror of what you would do on the right. So I'm only ever going to show what's on the, uh, the right side. Um, and now if it's on the front, uh, there are two other ways, one other way that I categorize it, which is if they're close to each other or far apart. Um, these ones are far apart. They have an entire row between them, this one and this one. So this is the first case, uh, which is they're far apart and the white sticker is facing out. Um, and I'm sure we've all figured this one out already. It's just R U R prime, R wedge. Um, I don't know why, but when I first did this, I was doing it like L F L prime. When it's just so much easier to just go. Uh, now notice, if you did the normal way of getting it out with the R, U, R prime, and then normal insert, it's seven moves. Or you could just do that and be done with it. So that's essentially what we're doing here. Um, now the next one, this is one of my favorites, um, which is they're far apart, separated by a whole row, and the white sticker is facing towards you, with the piece down here instead. And this is basically just a fat, double, anti-sexy. So, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime. And it can be done pretty quickly. Just like that. If I can influence it to get this case, I do. Just because I like doing it. Um, now the next ones are if the pieces are close to each other, so there's no row separating them. Um, in this case, it's the white sticker facing out again. And for this, I generally do the intuitive way of getting it out of there, and then insert. You can also, if you want, cancel out a couple of moves there by doing this little L prime first, and then getting it out, and then little L. Puts it right in there. Um, but it's not super finger tricky. Usually it's easy to just do quick sexy move, quick insert. Um, let's see, the next one, uh, so this one, if you did the R, U, R prime, then you would have this in the position for doing the longer insert, which is what we're trying to avoid. Um, so instead of doing that, you could do a sledgehammer. Now the white sticker's facing out, ready for a normal insert. Um, and once again, you can cancel out a couple of moves here. For this one, I do generally do the little L. Sledgehammer, little L. 
or little L prime, then little L. Um, that one is, is a little bit uh, easier to do. It's a little more finger trick ergonomical to do that. Um, okay, so next is if the other unsolved piece is in the back. Uh, two ways I look at this is if the piece is facing out or if the piece is facing back. So if it's on the R face or the L face, generally I'll just try and get it so that it's up here in the UB slot. So for this I'll just do R prime, U prime, R, and then normal insert. Um, and if the piece is facing out, uh, what I'll, by the time I actually find it, I usually have done like an X like this, so I can just do a U to set it up, and then do another rotation, normal insert, undo setup move. Uh, and now this is, these are both the same if you're doing the other piece. So for this one, white sticker is facing out on the R face, put it into the UB, insert. And then once again, uh, same piece, this time facing the B layer, just do setup move, insert, undo setup move. Um, so that's essentially it. I mean, there, there's not a whole lot of other tricks that I do uh, with Hoya. I mean, one thing that you should always take, try and take advantage of, uh, let's, is let's say you've got a free slot here. This is an unsolved cross position. Um, and I've got this piece back here. If I don't want to have to do a, a rotation to get to the B, I just do an R2, and then do my double fat anti-sexy. Um, or if this piece is down here, rather than bring it come up all the way over here, do a U2, and then an insert, you can just do that, that. So take advantage of uh, the freedom that you have by having unsolved uh, cross edges, uh, just the same way that you would take advantage of unsolved slots during F2L on 3x3. Uh, so that's about it. I uh, hope you found it helpful. Uh, once again, sorry it took a little while, um, but yeah, later on.